everybody. Welcome back to Bimbo Cat Food. If it's your first time here, a double welcome to you. And also, I love you. I am Luca, and today on Bimbo Cat Food, we are starting Shadowrun Dragonfall. The, one of the best games I've ever played. One of my favorite games ever. Uh, sequel to Shadowrun Returns, which we beat earlier in the week. Uh, fuck, I love this game, and I'm very excited to play it. And, uh, you know, I had, my, I had the idea when I started Shadowrun Returns that I was going to play the same character through the entire trilogy. But then I'm like, no, actually, we're not going to do that. We're going to make a new character for each game. And they're going to be their own thing. And they're going to exist in their own universe. So, hey, let's play a game. I want to play a game. I'm excited. I want to play a video game. Is... Oh, I have the wrong overlay on. Oh, hey, hello. Hold on. Hell yeah. I am a, I am a great cat. Uh, I need to switch this also. And move this over. There we go. We're all good. I need to move myself over a bit. There. There. We do it. Uh, so, a little background on this game. This game originally started out as a, like, expansion campaign, additional campaign to Shadowrun Returns. Uh... That was added because of a uh, like a Kickstarter stretch goal for Shadowrun Returns, and then they were like, "Hey yo, this is so fucking good. We should just make it its own thing with some improvements." Uh, and they did, and here it is. Here's Shadowrun Dragonfall Director's Cut, a game so good they released it twice technically. Uh, I also this is you can tell this is the one I've played a lot more. Because I literally, I've played user-generated content in these. Um, yeah, let's launch the main campaign. Let's make a character. So I want to play a human in this one. We're going to play a human Decker. Because I always play a human Decker. But the human's kind of boring, actually. Like, an elf Decker makes sense, right? Because I think elves have the highest intelligence score. No, they don't. Who does? Oh, no. Elves do. Oh, elves and humans. Elves also get an additional point to charisma. Hmm. But also, I don't want to be a highfalutin elf. I guess we could be a chill elf. A chilf. A chelf. Oh, I do like this portrait, too. That's a good portrait. Um... I like, I like that she looks kind of bitchy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll play an elf decker. I don't know a name yet, though. I think dwarves also are also in nine. The only ones that aren't for max, I think, are for troll and orc. Oh, uh, let's look. Oh, dwarves are also in nine. Let's scroll through the portraits here. I do like, I do like a dwarf. I do like that dwarf. That's a good dwarf. That dwarf is a vibe. I think we'll go with that. Okay, so we're not, so we're not playing like a, oh, well, hold on, let me look. It's like, I, uh, uh, fuck, I do also like these ones. Yeah, we'll do that one. Yeah, that's the vibe. That's the correct vibe. I really wish you could give, like, I wish you could give other races horns and stuff, and that wasn't, like, a locked trait. Uh, okay. So we're going high intelligence this time. <clears throat> we'll obviously put an po extra point into decking. God, a rigor would be cool. Actually, you don't get a rigor in, uh, Dragonfall, now that I think about it. Glory is a street samurai. I think Ager is basically a street samurai. D 
Dietrich is a shaman. And Blitz is a Decker, and I don't like Blitz. Um. Oh, ah! Pain. I made Trigger Mix sounds interesting. Wah! Oh, I get pets? I get pets now? Hell yeah, I got more pets. It's a good stream already. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be a de I'm gonna exclusively be a decker. Like, that's the plan. Uh, I probably want some kind of weapon skill. Oh, wow. I guess we'll start with... Well... We had a pistol last time. Let's do a shotgun this time. Because shotguns are dope. Or, what if we just did a rifle? No, that's... There's another party member for that. Now, fuck. What should we do for... Oh, uh, let's do Shadowrunner. Obviously gotta start with the Shadowrunner etiquette. Um, name. I mean, what if we just did this? So, like... Or, no, it could be one word. So it's like a combination of Nova Cat. Uh, Nova Hot, which is like... Hella. It's good. It's awesome. And also Cat. I like that. I enjoy that. Yeah, I'm a Decker, so it fits. Yeah. Life was good. Easy jobs, regular pay, a reliable crew. But things went south and you had to drop and you had to drop off the grid. Put a bullet in the past and start somewhere new. The promise of opportunity and anonymity draws you to the free city of Berlin, the flux state, a grand experiment in social order. Corporations tread carefully here. Even the great dragon Lofweir only has so much sway in the constantly evolving power struggle structure of Berlin. The perfect place for a savvy shadow runner to disappear and begin anew. And, as luck would have it, home to your old partner in crime, Monica Schaefer. It's your third run with Monica and her team. An old castle holdfast, one hour east of Berlin, perched on a hill overlooking the countryside. The job is a standard smash and grab. Crack the vault, grab the data, get out in one piece. A mediocre payday, but work is work. As the team gathers for Monica's pre-run briefing, you pause to take in your surroundings. I always love when the game starts with a milk run, because it's never, it's never a milk run. The estate grounds are silent, save for the faint whistling of the wind. Your team gathers near a side entrance to the old castle holdfast, cloaked in darkness. The night is peaceful. You know it won't last. You know it for what it is, a pleasant illusion that will shatter at the sound of the first gunshot. Listen up, folks. Monica Schaefer, you ran with her back in the day. Now she's your team leader. Your decking skills may be sharp, but hers are Nova Hot. Running with Monica is like taking a masterclass in ice breaking. We're on a tight timetable. I want to enter the estate, find the basement, open the data vault, extract the files, and bolt. Ten minutes, top to bottom. Trying to get home in time for worm talk, love. Dietrich, shaman, the old man of the team. He smiles at her, his facial tattoos writhing in the moonlight. Monica's eyes twinkle with mischief. Maybe. How many times have I told you? You can't trust anything that comes out of a dragon's mouth. That trid trash will rot your ma will rot your brain. God, yeah, Glory's so fucking cool. I love Glory so much. She grins. It's educational. Besides, this should be a milk run. Security is supposed to be light, a few automatic weapons, no armor. With a little luck, they'll never know we were here. Just like old times, eh? Monica's smile returns, more wistful this time. The moonlight catches her face at a strange angle. Yeah, just like old times. Milk run or not, we should be careful. Glory? Glory. Razor sharp street samurai. Her voice is cold and neutral, her, exp her expression placid. They may only be private security, but their bullets don't know that. I can patch you up if I have to, but I'd rather not have to. You people need to relax. We're professionals, remember? Monica raises, raises her arm and speaks into her wrist mounted comm link. A darkened face shimmers on the view screen. Eager, are you in position? 
The comm link crackles and the response comes back low and soft. Softer than you'd expect from a troll. Affirmative. The alarm lines have been cut and I have a clear line of fire on the estate's service entrance. When you exit the building, the path will be clear. Excellent. Thank you, Ager. Just doing my job. Ager out. The comm link goes dark. Monica winks at you as she drops her arm. See? We're professionals. All right, people. Enough chatter. Our client wants the data from the vault, so we get him the data from the vault. Quick, quiet, and quick. You said quick twice. She grins. Worm talk is on tonight. Glory raises an eyebrow. Slightly. I told you. It's educational. Yeah, like, I think... Ager has a really good arc throughout this game. Though, obviously, nowhere near as good as, like... Glory's arc, should you choose to do her, like, companion quest. But, like, I, lo I love, I love Aegir. Uh, grab a weapon. I'm gonna grab a shotgun. God, throwing knives would have been cool. Fuck. Alright. I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna poke around a little bit. There's nothing over here. It's all garbage. I wonder if Decker starts with the most items in their kit. Because they have to. A private museum. The owner of this estate must have money to burn. Oh, Nick Cage lives here. The complete skeleton of a theropod dinosaur. It appears to be genuine. A variety of remarkably well-preserved Slavic artifacts. Cool. The vase in this case looks both very old and very valuable. A fine scroll work of lapis and gold leaf decorates its exterior, and the interior shimmers with the organic beauty of abalone shell. Your fixer could probably move this thing in a heartbeat, you can't help but notice that the glass encasing looks awfully flimsy. Uh, let's walk away. Maybe I'll come back for you later. That's not part of the job. And also, they will scold me if I try to take it anyway. To the north. Oh, hi. Hello. Yeah, I don't need tutorials, thanks. I literally just played... Oh, I... See, this is a much better UI for this kind of game. That's true, yeah. It's a good bit. Oh, I forgot that Monica has a fucking... Like, actual rifle. Oh, that's definitely not the thing I would want Glory to do. Glory is not a gun character video game. Why do you default to using her pistol? Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's a lot of guys. No way this is gonna hit. Yeah, that's what I thought. We're not good enough with our shotgun at the moment. Oh, you didn't die. Oh. Oh, yeah, Deep Trick has throwing knives. That's a cool weapon for him to have. Oh, you didn't die! He only took one damage. Wait, does the blade not stack? Oh. 
Holy fuck! Why, oh, sure, I'm glad I just wasted Dietrich's. Oh, okay, never mind. It wouldn't do much. Are you for real? Uh. Okay. Uh, Dietrich, do you have a. No, but you do have this. Which is always fun. Now oh, that's way more. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna have to have. Oh no. I need to have Glory heal herself. Excellent. This guy is next on my radar. Going minus 10 HP. Sounds good. Sounds excellent. Hi, there's another one. Wow, fuck. Magic does so much damage. That was probably a bad idea. Oh, come on. Good shit. Are you running away? Where did that person even come from? Like... Is there now just like a group in the back where I came from? I should probably unsummon this spirit. getting too risky. Did they come alone? I guess they did. Wow, they're literally just running. Die. Idiot. There is a room to the south. Oh, right. Usually I would do that first. So that's why I was confused by a guy coming out of it. Because there is a guard here. And a terminal. Security alert response plan. Quebec 6. Matrix operations locked. HTR team responding. I read that as HRT team. Because of course I did. Override matrix operations door lock. Hell yeah. I don't know what that did. Oh. That. Ah. I will jack it.
Does Monica have more programs? She does. We should make use of her. We can do both. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, no, she doesn't have killer? Oh, shit. Remember if you actually get to spend that or like sell that later. Oh, I didn't need to use one of Dietrich's totems in that room. I think there was a spirit that you could summon in the middle. So far, so good. If your scrapers for security set off any alarms, you don't hear them. Monica leads the rest of the team downward into the basement of the Harfeld Manor. Your payday is waiting. The data vault lies ahead. Teacher eyes the door, then turns to Monica. That's a big freaking vault, Liebchen. Bigger than on the schematic. The schematic didn't have a date. Our client may have old intel. Still, our instructions were clear. The data we're looking for should be just on the other side of this door. Monica combs a hand through her hair, parting it to reveal the black plastic sheath of her data jack. A quick jaunt into the matrix, a little digital hand waving, and I'll have this thing wide open. Be right back. A burst of static crackles through the tiny speaker on Monica's comm link. Ager, still in position outside the estate. Hold on, Monica. Who's in charge while you're jacked in? Monica rolls her eyes. Dietrich fixes his stare intently on the vault door. Gloria looks cold and distant, just as she always does. We've been through this before, Ager. You're not in the KSK anymore, and that chain of command nonsense doesn't fly in the shadows. We don't need rules and regulations to guide us. The same principles that apply to the Flux State. Please, spare me the lecture. Your politics have nothing to do with this. Let's get used to it, Ager, love. She sighs. Look, it's a simple question. Years of experience tell me that it needs an answer. Uh, why don't I take a crack at the door instead? Let me show you what I can do. Monica smiles, but shakes her head no. No offense, Novacat, but this is my team. And at least for now, I handle the grid work. Then you need a second in command. Come on, Monica. Put someone in charge and let's get on with the mission. Monica stares at the screen on her wrist for a moment, clearly irritated. Then that twinkle appears in her eye again. She smiles at you as she speaks into her comm link. Very well. We'll do this one the Eggers way. While jacked in, Novacat is in charge. There is a pause, then Eggers' voice crackles out of the comm link again. Novacat? Did I hear you right? You're putting the rookie in command? I thought you were a pro, Eggers. Questioning orgers in front of the team isn't exactly a pro move, is it? This is ridiculous. Clear the comm, rookie. Now. Monica nods at you. The smile has disappeared from her face. Listen, Monica, I know that this is a joke to you, but I'm telling you, Ager. Monica's tone is full of busyness. Evidently, she has heard enough. The decision's made. You have your answer. Acknowledged. Without another word, Ager's image flickers and fades from Monica's communicator. Sorry about that. Ager can be... inflexible. The legacy of a long military career. But she knows what she's doing, and she means well. No sweat. I'll buy her a beer and talk it out, talk it out after the run. Good woman. Eggers' skills and experience are invaluable to this team. It would be good to have her on your side. Okay, enough chatter. Let's get this done. Monica turns towards the door, fingers poised on the controls of her cyber deck, then glances back at you with a grin. See you on the other side. Then she punches it, projecting her consciousness into cyberspace, her fingers harmonizing in the smooth, rhythmic staccato that only an expert decker can achieve. Oh, 
Ah! Without warning, Monica's back arches violently and her head jerks back, silencing her terrible screams. Muscle spasms ripple through her face and her jaw snaps shut, sending a mist of blood spraying from between her teeth. You look down to see a nub of pink flesh hit the floor, the tip of her tongue. The room explodes into action. Glory leaps toward Monica, her hand outstretched to yank the cord from her data jack. Dietrich surges forward to wrap the team's fallen Decker in a bear hug, holding her against the convulsions that rack her body. With Monica's unearthly screams still ringing sharply in your head, you are only dimly aware of the door slamming shut behind you. <clears throat> um... I will help Glory pull the plug on Monica's data jack. While Glory holds Monica's head steady, you snatch the cord that connects Monica's data jack to her cyberdeck. Without a moment's hesitation, you give a solid yank and the cord comes free. A wisp of oily blue smoke traces its way from her data, data jack to the ceiling. The commingled scents of charred meat and ozone fill the air. You've seen the effects of biofeedback before, but nothing like this. Suddenly, Monica's eyes flutter open. Muscle tremors continue to distort her face, and blood oozes between her lips. You see the muscles in her jaw tensing and the look of concentration in her eyes. She's struggling to speak. Uh, talk to me, Monica. What are you trying to say? She slowly, painf slowly painfully, Monica wrestles her jaw open. The blood welled up in her mouth comes pouring out in a slick, covering her chest. She expels a thick, guttural sound that might be a word. Satisfied, she closes her eyes and forces her mouth to make the shapes she needs. F fe fear With an effort, Monica opens her eyes again and meets yours. You see pain and fear in her gaze, and something else. Hope? I don't know how to pronounce this. <clears throat> Hold on. It's... Fear swing. It's Fire Maw or the Fire Wing. Yeah, that doesn't tell me how to pronounce it. Okay, wow, I'm getting spoilers. <laughs> uh, not that I care about spoilers, but like, it's additional lore stuff that I don't want to hear through a fucking wiki page. Hold on. Uh, just fire swing. Okay. Fire swing. That's not a threatening name. A sudden spasm jerks Monica's head back again. She grunts, then her chin drops to her chest and her head lolls to one side. Her eyes fix on an object in the next room, a computer terminal. The soft light of a cursor blinks on its recessed screen. Slowly, she attempts to speak again. But the only sound that emerges is a long, strangled croak. Ooh, thanks, X Factor, for following. Yeah, I. Yeah, this uh, this whole scene is incredibly brutal and is very unfortunate because like Monica would have been a real fun character to uh, interact with, but I think it's it's handled well. Like this this death is purposeful. It's kind of what the campaign's about. A look of resignation washes over Monica's face, and she stops fighting. Her gore-slick jaw goes slack, and she dies. And now we're fighting. Um, hey. Oh, it's me. I wanna make it everybody I wanna make it easy for everybody else to fight really quick. Glory, is you running up really the Yeah, you still have decent health and a pretty decent med kit. <clears throat> I remember this one being harder than returns. Like throwing you into combat scenarios that are a little bit more challenging than returns. Wow, that did fucking hella damage.
Oh, she does have adrenaline pump. You're right. Oh, yeah, that gives her, like, an extra AP, right? Yeah. Fuck. Thank you, Catherine, for reminding me. That is that is vital to the glory kit. Okay, I can hit that. The spirit could oh, is combat oh combat's not over, no. Can I heal glory? No, can I heal anybody? No, I think the wounds go away after a fight, right? Um, look at this. Um, oh. He took scans the room nervously. They've sealed the door behind us. We've got to find another way out of here. But what are you doing? I think Monica may have inserted the buck into the system before she died. What's it for? Something tells me we're going to have more company soon. I don't know yet. Watch my back while I figure this out. Text continues to scroll down the terminal screen. Uh. Hit the Y key. Processor request 0% complete. As you watch, the number of the screen slowly begins to climb. This is going to take a while. You glance down at the second screen to see that the facility is on high alert. In place of a simple data vault, it seems you've stumbled upon some kind of massive underground complex. A map of the holdfast grounds indicates that security forces are en route from multiple angles. The doors, currently being rebooted by the system's restore process, are flashing a dull red. If you're reading this display correctly, the only exit from this room is the holdfast's old servant's entrance on the western side of the building. At that moment, Ager's image winks onto your comm link with a crackling sound. The image is grainy, flickering in and out. What's going on down there, rookie? Talk to me! Ager, new extraction point. Hold up. Where's Monica? Down. We'll be exiting via an old service entrance to the west of the main grounds. I need you to keep that exit clear. Ager's silence is thick, but when she finally responds, her tone is professional. Roger that. She cuts out without another word. You gotta, you gotta approach Ager with a sense of professionalism. It's very important. Glory turns to face you. Her movements smooth and robotic. Her voice comes out in a frosty monotone. What's the play, Alley Cat? Um. Our escape route will open in a minute. We hold tight until then. By hold tight, you mean sit here and fry anyone who comes to the door, don't you? Pretty much, yeah. Dietrich, Dietrich's pained expression twists into a mask of hate. His hands begin to glow with primal energy. I can do that. I thought so. When the door locks disarm, we make a break for it. Until then, we make them pay for Monica. Dietrich and Glory nod in agreement. Hella. Um, we want to get into pretty good position here. We don't want to be facing this direction at all. Because those problems <laughs> over there. Um, we want to move Dietrich up because I believe there's a spirit over here too that Dietrich could grab. I think... I'm trying to think this out like actually tactically for the first time in my goddamn life. I'm gonna put Glory over here. We'll end now. I should have moved Dietrich. Fuck, I didn't rec I didn't realize they'd be like Behind us first. Which kind of blows. Yeah, Dietrich does move slow. Because he only has the one AP. Mm. Move a bit closer. There we go. All we needed. Wait, did the drone not die? That's bullshit. That guy wasn't a rigger? That's not fair.
Oh, I don't think Petra can use that because he literally has a spirit out right now. So we'll. I think you could have multiple. Why is that not an option? Hmm. Yeah, the loss of AP is like is a big deal, but like. It's fine in the case of Dietrich, because I don't think his, like, you know, his default attacks are very good. Uh, so, like, you get one AP to, like, either move him or cast a spell, and then... Wow, okay. I would love Adrenaline Pump being off cooldown so much. The figure lopping toward you is big, even for an orc. The majority of his body is sheathed in a suit of heavy, overlapping plates. What you can see of his face lacks, looks raw and slick, like old scar tissue stretched tight over his skull. He wears an expression of supreme confidence. All right, friends, playtime's over. All you Shadowrunners are the same. Skulking, sneaking, steal a vase or two from the museum, no harm. Maybe I'd let you scamper away into the night. But now it's too late for that sort of generosity. Visitors aren't welcome down here. The gaping maw of the minigun jerks upward, an impatient gesture, loaded with malice. Drop your weapons and surrender. That's military grade armor he's wearing, Novacat. Pardoned against small arms fire? We'll have a tough time getting through it. I'm less concerned about the armor than I am about the minigun. Those things could tear a man in half. You have three seconds before I open the hose. Step out here and surrender, and I promise I'll make this easy. Something tells me you're going to kill us either way. True. I can't deny it. But wouldn't it be easier if you didn't fight back? The orc shrugs, and you hear the distinctive whir of his, of his vindicator's motor spinning up to speed. The barrels begin to blur as he wheels the weapon to face you. Oh, fuck. We'll be fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's so fucking fine. Hey, let's give this a shot. Oh, that was a good call. That was the best call. No, focus on the spirit, asshole. Thank you. At least you did it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's, uh... <laughs> really don't want Glory to take a bump here, but I think she might. Oh, it just left. I was hoping it would go Berserk. <laughs> Well, that's things getting dicey pretty much immediately. Glory, you're gonna have to move really fast, okay, sweetie? Yeah, oh yeah, that's a, fuck, that's a very good point also. Oh, fuck! Why do you move there? Hold up. Fuck it. Just absolutely fuck it right now.
Let's... Hey, let's just go really, 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 really ham. Are you fucking for real? Didn't I mark him too? I love doing a crit of five damage. That's concerning. Okay, we need to hold fast and just kind of get behind cover. And let the spirit do its work. Let it do its dark business. Oh, good crit. Wow, you just... Okay. Okay, let's go. Now, Dietrich is gonna lag behind a little bit. I gotta keep him behind cover, I reckon. Oh, that's so good. What if I... What if I actually put forth the effort to kill this man? Wouldn't that be funny? Ow! Wait, it missed and it still made me bleed like fuck, huh? Okay. Points against killing this guy, Glory has very low health. No, I think, no, I think it, oh, I, no, it's, yeah, it's hard to tell what happened there. Did it just go berserk? It did. Time to leave. Point against killing him, you get nothing from it? Okay. So Berserk Spirits are still helpful, and I appreciate- We're leaving. Glory especially is leaving. Dietrich, my man. This could take a bad turn. Oh, no, the spirit left. Okay, cool. Oh. Ager rises from her corpse strewn perch at your approach. From the look on her face, it's obvious that she's already sized up the situation. I knew this was going to happen. I fucking knew it. We can talk about this later. For now, we need to bug out. Tell me something I don't know. Ayo slaps the side of the van. Pile in, people. A Nova Cat. When we get back to the Cruise Bazaar, we're gonna have a little talk. Uh-oh. You don't get any karma or anything, really? Oh. Cruiseburg. Home to nearly half a million people and, until very recently, Monica Schaefer. Once a melting pot of cultural diversity, it's now a chaotic mess of wealth and poverty, crime and commerce, anarchy and control. It's also home to your own little slice of Berlin, a neighborhood that lo locals call the Cruise Bazaar, a safe port in the eye of a storm. The ride back to the Cruise Bazaar is quiet. No one is in a talking mood. As the van veers past potholes and garbage piles, the glare of street lights and neon signs play across your window, painting the world in a kaleidoscope of garish colors. Soon, the van rounds a corner and, and skids to a halt in a narrow, crumbling alley. This is as far as Berlin's chaotic streets will take you. Your team wordlessly debarks the vehicle and climbs down into a disused section of the U-Bahn tunnel system. 
A well-kept secret, providing your team passage into the cruise bazaar. Your safe house waits on the other side. Damn. It sucks that you don't get anything for beating him there. Like, if you beat him there, she's like, okay, well, you, you beat the game. <laughs> Proceed into the data vault. 